Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing another movie haul video. This It's been a while since I've done a movie haul, in a while, and uh, I decided to do one. And these are five movies that I picked up recently. Um, I just picked this one up today, finally. Um, apparently, when I promised the movie haul, I did not get this one on time. Apparently, Amazon did some stupid thing where they... they I canceled an order on Target.com, and uh, the money didn't come in until like later on apparently it took them like 10 days pretty much to, for them to give me the money back for barbie because it wouldn't it wouldn't be in stock so it kept saying it was out of stock and everything so i just gave up and uh, it took them a while to give me back the money and amazon said that i didn't have enough money to buy this on so i was just like you know what fuck amazon and at that point i well i mean i got the complete uh, the co the collected works of Hayao Miyazaki, which I did a movie, I did a movie unboxing of that one already, so you can check that one out on YouTube. But um, I know I already did an unboxing of Mission Impossible, but I'm gonna show that one off again, and uh, we're gonna get to see what these other movies look like too. So, but first off, we are gonna be looking at Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Now, I saw this movie in the theaters in IMAX. I was really happy about. Seeing this one at the store, I picked this one up a while back, and um, it's really enjoyable. So that was the spine, here's the back. So this is, this is the first Blu-ray only movie I've gotten in a while. I usually get Blu-ray combo packs, or if I think the movie looks good enough, I'll get it in 4K, and I got this one on Blu-ray only, so here's the Blu-ray disc of the movie, and the bonus. Pretty good movie. Well worth it. This movie, um, really liked it. Next up we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which this is a 2019 movie, and this is from Quentin Tarantino, and I picked up on, I, I have it in my personal collection, I have Reservoir Dogs on 4K, I have Pulp Fiction on 4K, I have both of the Kill Bill movies, which, um, I did unboxings of those last year, like, I did those, and there was a lot of views on those, and I'm happy that they actually re-released those movies because I can never get my hands on those as, like, the DV the regular DVD copies, so I'm happy that I actually got the Blu-ray combo packs instead because I like Blu-rays better than DVDs, and and because I also have, I have the Kill Bill movies, I have the Hateful Eight, and now I have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which I'm thinking about getting in Glorious Bastards at some point, too, but this one I have on Blu-ray as a combo pack. Really nice. I really like the retro, like, 60s design. Um, it's a really nice cover. There's the spine at the back. And, uh, there's the Blu-ray and there's the DVD. I saw this one once, uh, I saw this one once. I rewatched it yesterday. Really liked this movie. Really did. A yeah, great movie. Next up, I have Strays, the Unleashed Edition. Now, this one, this was a movie that I honestly really gotta say is probably one of the funniest movies of last year. I honestly laughed really hard to this one. Anybody who didn't laugh to this doesn't have a sense of humor because, honestly, this movie was absolutely hilarious. I mean, there were some moments that weren't, but this movie was really funny, so picked it up on Blu-ray. This movie was as funny as Cocaine Bear, if you've never seen this one, so yeah. Great movie. Um, it's the cover... And here's the spine, and here's the back. Here's the cover, spine, the back. There's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Next up, I have Saw X, which this is a movie that I honestly really enjoyed. I, I've i been always picky about the Saw movies. I think everybody has, and almost every Saw movie is not really that great. But this one, I gotta say, this is the best Saw movie. I thought this movie was a 9 out of 10. I was really shocked at how good this movie was. I was really happy about this one. This one was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. So here's the cover, here's the spine, and here's the back. Come on. Yeah, 
there's the Blu-ray and the DVDs. So I really like that they went back to like the designs on some of the older Saw DVDs, because the older Saw DVDs actually had like this thing where they would not put a title or anything. They just have full artwork on the disc, and I really like that. So that's something that really really makes me happy about this. Really happy to own this one. Oh, come on. There we go. And then the next movie I got here is The Holdovers. On This is the Collector's Edition Blu-ray Combo Pack. I just opened this one a while ago, so this is the digital copy. I redeemed it, so yeah. Unless there's another code on the back. No, it's just the sign-up thing at Focus Insider. Pick this one up, really nice to have this. Here's a spine, the back. Honestly, one of the best movies of last year. I think this one was second best, my personal opinion. The movie was instantly probably one of my favorite movies. Great movie, really well made. It's the cover, spine, back. You got the Blu-ray. And there's the DVD. So that's that. You know what? Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified on these videos. Bye.